Hello, I'm John Gregory Smith, and all that you see here, including me, may surprise you. I'm a chef and a presenter, so of course I'm in a vineyard with an intriguing new car from Paris, and I'm going to talk to you about wine, but don't assume too much. This is the Garden of England and the car a DS4, automotive haute couture from the biggest brand you may never have heard of. Our new Attitude series of stories, Les Artisans, is going to introduce you to LGBTQ plus entrepreneurs and craftsmen who are the best of the best within their fields. We start with Digby Fine English, an award-winning fizz, the brainchild of married couple Trevor Clough and Jason Humphreys. The grapes are grown right here in the Digby Vineyard in Tunbridge, Kent, and by farmers all across the South Coast. The company's base is in Arundel, West Sussex, where founder Trevor awaits us in the rather deliciously named tasting rooms. I'm the head blender of Digby Fine English, uh, which really means I'm kind of the artist at the heart of the brand. It really requires a combination of science and art. And I think this is what Britain is so good at. When you look at us around the world, we're known for our amazing engineering projects and our perfectly tailored suits. So it's bringing together both of those facets of our national character in pursuit of some pretty killer wines. We're not trying to create a, a wine that pleases everybody. Uh, you know, the goal is to create something interesting and, and unique. And, and you know, wine lovers um, love to explore, and you don't want to be making something that's that's that, that's the same as everybody else. So, so this um, is designed to be to be us. This defines Digby. Uh, you have a glass of this, and you know you immediately know what Digby is about. People don't just drink wine for the wine. It's about the joy and the escapism and the magic and maybe a little bit of sex appeal and all these, especially with bubbles. Oh God, so yeah. we wanted to bring all of that, but in a kind of uh, cheeky British way, because you know our peers in France who've been making wine for hundreds of years uh, with the same method and all of that, you know, they're very good at the kind of French national approach to luxury, which is huge mystique and the kind of French sex appeal. British sex appeal is a bit naughtier, a bit more red-cheeked, and it takes us a couple glasses to get into it, but people around the world love that. We'll not be taking Digby's commitment to the famous French method champenoise as red. For having seen, heard, and tasted, we're gonna be taking some of Digby's finest fine English on the road to meet a fourth generation of winemaker in France's Champagne region for a unique celebration. And we're damned if we're not traveling in style. I joked at the outset of DS Automobiles being the biggest car maker you've never heard of. They're a new brand who pride themselves on exclusivity. That said, they did outsell Lexus in Europe last year. Their premise is to embody everything that makes Paris the luxury capital of the world in automotive terms. This is their new DS4, dripping with tech. It's slickly styled and reassuringly expensive. Inside, the glorious cabin is made with first-rate materials. I tell you what, it is quite lovely in here. Now here's the thing, I don't profess to know a lot about cars, not least because nowadays so many of them look the same with big wheels and rubber band tires. But this really stands out from the crowd. It's so insulating from the outside world and so cosseting. It's like flying first class, but without having to buy three BA tickets in the hope you land one that doesn't get cancelled. The ride quality is glorious and the seat's so comfy I am never getting on a plane again, but that is my choice this time. This is the only road trip you'll ever need. Oh God, does that make me the new Jeremy Clarkson now? And here is where it all started, the village of Hautevillers. Just down the road is the site of Abbey Saint-Père, former home to Dom Perignon a French Benedictine monk whose work in the development of sparkling wine forms the basis of champagne as we know it today. In order to call sparkling wine champagne, it has to be made in France's Champagne region, right here. 
So I'm delighted to say the family of winemakers who are hosting us today are the real deal. The Tribure vineyards were established in 1935 and the second, third and fourth generation of the family all work within the business today. So let's hear their story. I am the third generation, if we, yes, and uh, my, my son is the fourth generation. My brother takes care of the vineyard, so he's very uh, proud of the vineyard. Producing good grapes, you can have good champagne. But after uh, we are a team, we decide on the blending. So it's a family choice. So after a few years, 30 years, I can really uh, say that uh, the, the Grand Cuvée and the Blanc de Noir are my, are my signature. And so for the moment of truth, what does our premier cru champagne maker think of Digby's Fine English? interesting. The size of the bubbles are very, uh, very small, very delicate. The color is nice. Um, on the nose, uh, you can smell something a little bit um, nuts. Nutty. 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 Yeah. Sorry. So it's very refreshing. Uh, it's clean, but uh, voila. So um, a champagne for, for having as an aperitif. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice uh, flavor of Pinot Noir. I taste a lot of the Pinot Noir, definitely. And um, a nose. Of course, you taste the same in the mouth, but with a nicer, longer taste compared to the first one. So I think that's a guarded thumbs up from a family steeped in champagne history, but high praise in the context of an English fizz launched as recently as 2013. The LGBTQ plus community has never wanted for the entrepreneurial or the creative, les artisans, if you will. But 21st century role models and activists are different from those that came before them. Digby's Trevor and Jason, a married couple, are a thoroughly modern family who produced the wonderful sparkling wine we've tried. And they hope that one day their son Paxton will take over the family business, just as four generations of Tribo have done right here. So much of this would have been unthinkable when all of this wine hereabouts was all grapes. And that's why we need to embrace, support, and celebrate positive change. Attitude loves people who dare to do things differently. Digby has certainly done that as have our friends at DS in bringing everything that is celebrated about Paris into the world of cars, and what's not to love about that. Long live Unique, long live Daring, long live Les Artisans.